In theater, there's something we call triple threat. Someone who can sing, dance, and act. Now, I can't comment on this person's singing ability other than the occasional karaoke in the drama room, but I would actually call this person a quintuple threat. Sure, he can act and he can dance, but beyond that, he's hardworking, dedicated, and above all kind. In the four years he's been at Boss, he has been in Drama Club, the Improv Team, the Senior Production, Student Activity Council, TALA, Tamil Student Association, and Dance Club. He has his bronze cross in swimming and has over 700 hours in volunteering. He does Taekwondo, in which he has won two provincial tournaments. He's an instructor and a third degree black belt. I would say he's a true representation of Burroughs' character and strength. In the fall, he is off to McMaster University for Automation Engineering Technology, where I have every confidence he will thrive, because whatever he tackles, he conquers. I have seen him grow as a student, but also as a person. I am grateful to have been one of his teachers and mentors. Everyone, I am so proud to introduce to you your 2022 valedictorian, Namesh Nishaharan. Introduction, that was amazing. Guys, where was all this energy for the spirit days? We could have won. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. Before anything else, I would like to first thank my family, friends, staff, mentors, and peers for helping me get here today. I wish I could say what a wonderful four years of high school it's been, but no. We've been through the most bizarre four years of high school to ever exist. As with every other school year, we started our journey in the ninth grade and had high expectations for what the next four years would be like. When grade 10 began, we started to meet more people, join new clubs, and feel more a part of the school. Then, March break came along. <laughs> we learned that a new virus called COVID-19 would extend our March break by two weeks. At first, then a month, then two months, until we lost track of time, not knowing exactly when we'd be back in school. Little did we know, we weren't going back for the rest of the semester. There were a lot of mixed feelings about not being in class. Some of us were upset while practically missing a whole year of school. The rest of us, on the other hand, wished that the break would never end. <laughs> for many of us, this was a season of peak video games. TikTok trends, and a pure vacation. Consequently, our entire future also became a mystery. How could we prepare for how our future would unfold in two years when we struggled to deal with the present? But then, in grade 11, we were able to overcome the most different school year to ever exist. We were put in a mixed, hybrid, an SBS universe where no one knew what was happening. We met some amazing people through this experience, but were blind to what was going on. Most of us felt no progress, no progression, we were involved in no clubs, and there was no extracurriculars. We felt like there was, we were getting nowhere, despite how fast the time was flying by. Finally, in grade 12, when we were put in back to normal school, many of us wanted to be as involved as possible to make up for all the years we missed out on. We did an outstanding job moving our school forward by showing everyone how the old boys roll. Shout out to the athletes who kept the ball running and bring back the sports teams by representing Boss. Thank you to the ambassadors, councils, and other clubs for bringing back several school events. And a special thanks goes to the prom committee for pulling off one of the most memorable nights on such short notice. <laughs> Many of us have experienced how challenging it could be to accomplish anything this year with the extra protocols, remote learners, sanitization, and etc. But thank you to all the leaders who stepped out of their way to make the school better. Despite the challenges, there were a lot of perks given to us, such as mark freezes, our, uh, no exams, and our favorite, 24-hour assessments. <laughs> <laughs> Which sometimes took 24 hours. <laughs> Knowing this, we need to be ready for the challenges to come next year. Each and every one of you have your own hurdles that you may have already passed or will encounter in the near future. 
Just remember that challenges happen to everyone, some more serious than others, and the experience that we gain from overcoming these obstacles, challenge, or fear is what will make us successful in life. We are done with high school now, so we can stop worrying about what other people think of us, what you should wear, who you should hang out with, none of that ever mattered. And it is now time to realize that the only feedback that matters is from the people who want to see you succeed. Uh, if you feel like you're concealing your grades or telling the people closest to you that everything's all right when you're actually failing, know that there is no shame in reaching out for help. After all, I wouldn't be here if it wasn't from the support from all of you. In post-secondary, to stand up from others, getting your degree is one thing, but it's also important to do stuff that you like on the side to make you different from the rest. If you feel like you didn't get a chance to do that, go find more opportunities yourself. Everything happens for a reason, and if you give it your 100%, you will end up achieving your dreams. I feel so grateful to graduate with such an amazing group of students who could put your struggles aside and party like you did on the night of prom. It was an honor going to school year, Best of luck to everyone moving forward, and thank you to everyone who helped us get through the school year. One last shout out goes to the students from Mount Joy, Greensboro, Donald Cousins, Brett Barley, Wismer, Sam Lorenzo, John McCray, and more for making this speed experience so wonderful. Because when we leave this building today, we're all living together as one, as Bulldogs and Boss. Thank you. Before I go, I saw someone try to take a picture up here with everyone here, so I want to pull that thing off just for that one person, alright? So we're going to take a big group photo, everyone shout, everyone's screen, we're going to have a lot of fun, ready? Let's say 3, 2, 1, I want to rotate like this, all parents are involved, we're all just going to scream and cheer, because we graduated, we did it guys. Thank <laughs> you.